Hi guys, CB2133 here, and um, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own Minecraft server with port forwarding. So note, this is just the port forwarding bit and a bit more than that. Yeah. I will not show you how to make your own, how to make the server, like actually start the software and stuff. I already have a separate video for that. So you can go find it on my channel, it's called How to Make Your Own bucket server I think I'm not sure so what you do is um, open up your browser and get to your um, your routers server if you got a Belkin router it, it just happens to be one dot one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one or anything like that it could work for other servers too, it's already here so I'm just gonna tip that in. And what you wanna do is log in to your router. Okay, so then you go to virtual servers or something similar to that. Um and on Netgear router, it could be like setting up port forwarding, something like that, but you just have to get into your router server or access point server. So on Belkin, it says virtual servers. So we're going to go over there. So let's see, as you can see, I've got two um, ports set up already. You can like have about 20 on a Belkin router. So for a Minecraft server, what you're going to need to know is the IP of the device you're currently on, the IP of the device that's hosting the server. So what you're going to do for that is, um, you're going to go into control panel, no, no. Command prompt. What the heck? Command. Finally. Okay. Now what you're going to do is type in IP config. And go find your IPv4 address. Which is right here. So the last digits digits are two point nine. I remember that. Open up the browser again and um what you want to do is enable that and then type in whatever like a small description of that. Minecraft always uses the two five five six five port. If you change it like this, um, it will not. People will not be able to connect to your server, so always keep it like that. I apparently cannot do that because I already have one. So, yeah, um, it has to be TCP, not UDP. UDP. And here is where you type in the last digit two point. Well, it's nine, but private port is the same thing as inbound port. And once you've done that, you do apply changes. So I be I'm basically done here. You are too. Exit out of there, out of there. So then what you can do is open up your server file. Hello. Yeah, and then you're gonna go into your server properties and you have to type in this IP um... your IP so the device this device's IP just happens to be 192.168.2.9 and the server port leave that alone okay so once you do that save the changes now you click run This is for craft bucket, I mean, you don't click run if you have the normal server. 
See, now it's done. Um, go ahead and open up Minecraft. Oh wait, not yet, not yet. Um, this is a this is an optional thing I'm about to show you. You don't need to have it, but it would be nice. Um. Okay. Oh, sorry, the phone's ringing. Let me just take that. The call wasn't for me. Okay. Um. Here you're gonna type in free DNS. Okay. So the first one that comes up, free DNS. You're gonna click on that and go down. Click sign up. Fill all this out. Send activation email. Blah blah blah. Once you're done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and log into my. What the heck? I'm already signed up. Where am I gonna log in? Yeah. I'm gonna log in. As you can see, I have one over here. So what you're gonna do is set up a subdomain. Hello. I would like to set one up. What the fuck? Okay. Fine. I'm just gonna edit this. So for your first, I think you can only have one on this, but that's all right. So once you do it, you click subdomain, and you come to this, of course it's going to be blank. So what you type in, like, your server's, um, you don't have to type in your server's name, but, um, if you want to, I guess you can. Type in your server's name, and then a domain, I guess. Yeah, you, you, you um, pick a domain. So, I, I have strangled.net, it just sounds a lot better than moo, and it's shorter. Alright, so here's where you type in your IP. Go to findmyip.org. Uh, find my IP. Oh. Okay. Sorry, failed on that. Find my IP. See, you copy that, and you paste it over here. And then you click save. So now, once you've done that, you, this is this is like the thing that you give to your um people like this is the thing that you give to your friends for them to come um, come and come to your server you can give them this IP too but um this is gonna be like you put this on a public uh, page it would um you block hack it would like uh, protect your IP from peering eyes it's just a form of security and um ease so once you've done that, you would open up Minecraft again. Sorry, I'm not making much sense here, but um, all right. So you get rid of that and type in your the IP that you found in Find My IP or the DNS IP that you made. Which would be, um, the one I made would be Romecraft dot strangled dot or no, 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 dot net, and you'll be taken to your server. What the? F oh, never mind. So thanks for watching guys, um, 
that was a video on how to make your own server. No, no, how to port forward when you want to make a Minecraft server with port forwarding. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so if you like this video, subscribe. If it helped you, subscribe, comment, um, like, rate, whatever you do. Just so, um, if you want more of my videos, just check out my channel. I have a lot, um, I currently have 38 subscribers. I'm aiming for 50 before my birthday, which is October 8th. Um, so yeah, thanks. Bye.